Hello, this is Drew Andrews with Niner Time. So today we went shopping with Joe from Jamil Niner Pantry, and it was a fun little trip we went on. And so a lot of the content that we covered today involved what he does budget-wise and shopping with his partnership for Harris Teeter. One of the things that we do when we shop at Harris Teeter, um, for the tomato sauce for example, um, we will make sure that we, we don't take as many as they have in stock. Um, as much as I would love to, but we, we definitely try to make sure that we at least keep five or so left on their shelves for um, other customers that come in through that day. Um, there's so many Harris Teeters around the Charlotte area, so we definitely uh, span out, fan out, and um, definitely spread out our shopping uh, between all of the Harris Teeters. Um, we do have this uh, little spreadsheet that we go off of, so, so we have about five shoppers each week. Um, and so we all share this Google Sheet so we can all update it in real time. That way nobody's like doubling up on things um, and we can get exactly what we need. Um, all right, so now we'll go find some ramen. They, they help us out in many different ways. Of course, the one big one being um, the the hundred thousand dollar donation, the ten thousand dollars each year through gift cards, um, which definitely helps us out uh, to shop at the at their store. Um, in addition to that, they provide us with a lot of bags um, that we use week in and week out um, that allow our students to carry those groceries from you know our pantry to their homes. So now we will get meat dressing. Dressing and then red lentils. But that's the one thing we've noticed. Um, different things will become popular at different times. Um, so, like when we first started at the pantry, ketchup, nobody was really requesting it. Um, but now it, it seems like every other order is requesting some ketchup. Um, one of the things that we did was on our order form, we made sure to ask our students what they are wanting. Um, and another question was culturally based foods. You know, a lot of our students are international. A lot of them come from India. Um, so we've got a lot of recommendations of what they like to take off our shelves. And the only thing uh, or the other thing um, is, is we've been collecting this data since March of last year. Um, so we know what's been, uh, you know, hot commodities, bread, fresh produce, pineapple. Um, and so those are the things that we definitely try to target when we go shopping. We also have um, a, a small partnership with Publix and they provide us with bread um, whenever they, they have extra to give out. Um, and sometimes that includes pastries. So funny story, we do have a ton of different um, canned fruits at our pantry, but pineapple flies off the shelves. We can never keep it on the shelves. Um, so we just try to get as much as we can each week. Um, and it feels like we're always restocking on pineapple. So pineapple is a fan favorite at our pantry. I noticed like you have a certain amount that you get. Is that like a typical thing or is it based on a budget? So it, it's, it's pretty typical. Um, like I said, we have a few of these things in the pantry right now, um, but we do try to take an inventory each week. Um, right now, thankfully, we, we were blessed with a very big donation um, of money. And so we're, we're not really hurting in that area right now. And so um, as long as we can keep our shelves stocked with the items that we need, um, we just we just kind of we try to keep it as easy as possible for us and the cashiers um, as well as what we need for the pantry so for pineapple i'll usually get about 10 each time i go because sometimes other people who are shopping that week will get 10 also so i mean that already puts us at 20 um, which will easily fill up our shelves all right so that's probably the load I will do today, um, and then I'll probably finish up everything else on Monday. But that is, this is honestly kind of a lighter um, load. We, I mean, we're generally sticking things on the bottom. I mean, it's it's sitting pretty high, but luckily we're doing pretty good with our stock at the pantry right now. Um, so this is this is kind of all we need at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so now we will go check out. 